how we can use power state to detect and troubleshoot quickly and easily any problem within a motherboard we have s0 s3 s5 so i told you before that s5 means soft off means the laptop is totally off s4 we have suspend to desk means almost the 5 volt is generated and the disks within the computer i mean the hard disk drive and the odd or the optical disk drive are on s3 we have suspend to ram means the ram is almost on means what exactly do you see here we have s3 here so we have here two voltage this is the voltage for the ram because for the memory or random access memory it has always two voltages one main voltage in this case the main voltage is 1.2 volt because the kind of memory in this laptop is ddr4 we have 1.2 volt and the voltage for terminal we have ddr vtt means the voltage for terminal the half of 1.2 volt means 0.64 do you see here we have the main voltage we have on but the voltage for terminals we have off so in s3 the ram the ram is almost powered on okay and then we have s0 with where all voltages all these voltages are present so in s5 in s5 of course when the ac is inserted we have these voltages including 3.3 volt and 5 volt always if you test the motherboard you will find all these voltages okay but in s0 for example you will find all voltages are present including vcc core the voltage for the cpu so let's for example assume that we have a problem you turn off your laptop or your computer so the computer is totally off nothing happened now led is on nothing happened means the motherboard is dead so in this case let's use the states to detect the problem we have the problem of course is in state s5 we cannot go and check for example the vcc core here we have s0 all voltages are present s0 means all voltages are present but for us the computer is totally off means we have problem here okay if you insert the adapter because window adapter as you can see doesn't exist these voltages also will be off but when the adapter is inserted these voltages should be present so if the laptop is totally off means we have problem here we don't have 3.3 volt we don't have 5 volt means the problem could be with 19 volt we should check 19 volt don't waste your time and look for the vcc core the ddr vtt play plus 3.3 volt don't waste your time go and check the main voltage 19 volt because the laptop is totally off but another issue let's assume that you press the power button the laptop comes on the leds are on the fan or start turning the fan is working three seconds the laptop goes off here what could be the failure so the failure will not be here why because here we have s5 those voltage are always present in s5 means without powering on the laptop it could be the problem could be in s3 or in s0 but because the laptop is turning on for three seconds the fan is working the problem is here will be here check 
this voltage. The problem could be with the processor. We have plus VCC core in S0 and we have uh, the DTR or the voltage for terminal. So in this case, you should go, based on my experience, in this case, you should go and check the CPU circuit. If you check the CPU circuit, 100% you will find the problem within a MOSFET or the control IC for the CPU. Hi, so welcome again. So this is a very important video where you're going to understand a great thing about the power state, as you can see here, and the power management table. So this is basically also one of the most important and very exclusive unique videos in my channel. So this video basically will let you know all about the power states in the laptop or computer. So, and if you know, of course, about the power states and the power management within the motherboard, you can figure out the issue or the problem any of any motherboard very quickly and easily without wasting time. So let's get started. So we gonna see basically the state here we have S0, S3, S4, S5. I'm going to teach you what is exactly the difference between these states and how we can use the states to troubleshoot and isolate the failure in any motherboard or laptop and of course we gonna study all power rails in a laptop including the 5 volt always the 3.3 volt always the rtc or real-time clock voltage the ram voltage the cpu voltage etc i'm going also to teach you what is exactly the states and why we use it in the laptop so let's get started but please don't forget to like the video because your likes really motivate me to create more unique videos for you in a daily basis and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because i can only help you and teach you if you are subscribed in my channel and of course be notified for future videos and finally join me in my patreon page if you want to download for free this schematic and other many many schematics and of course to enjoy more unique content so let's dive in so let's begin here with this table so we have here as you can see s5 do you see here s5 so s5 here when the ec doesn't exist all powers in the motherboard will be off you will not find any power including 3 volt always and 5 volt always so when the ec adapter is removed this power as you can see the always powers including 3.3 volt and 5 volt always will not be present so these two powers the 3 volts and 5 volt always will be present just when you plug the ec adapter but when the battery is plugged no power so we have another case we have is five as you can see with the ec adapter is inserted here we have on all these voltages will be on we have plus five volt always 3.3 volt always we have another 3.3 volt always for the disk for the switch for the power switch and please 3.3 volt always for the pc hedge this is basically the ic hedge integrated with the graphic card we have real time clock the 3.3 volt 1.8 volt the primary 1.8 volt we have all one volt we have also one volt for the primary core 
etc okay but those voltage are not exist in s3 so basically s5 so for s5 means the laptop or the computer is totally off we called it soft off as we have here so for s5 the computer is totally off okay so for s3 we have suspend to ram is for suspend to disk here suspend to ram means the power for the ram is almost generated so because if we go here for example we have s3 okay so we have two voltages for the ram we have this voltage 1.2 volt because here we have the kind of ram here is ddr4 this is the first voltage and over here we have the second voltage for the vdd ram terminals you see in s3 the working voltage we have memory 1.2 volt for memory memory is on in s3 okay but the voltage for terminal or the secondary voltage as you can see we have here ddr vtt voltage for terminal we have here off as you can see you see we have off so in s3 we have suspend to run almost to run is working and we have s4 suspend to disk means do hard disk drive and we have as you can see here s0 means fall on means the computer is on totally 100 percent okay so in s0 as you can see here for example s0 as you can see we have on all these voltages are present all these voltages are present so before going and uh, teaching you what is the important of these states in terms of troubleshooting and isolation uh, fault isolation of course let's first see the voltages that is generated in s3 and s0 so for s3 we have plus 3.3 volts this is basically a secondary voltage it's not always we have 1.2 volt we have 2.5 volt this is basically for memory and graphic card and we have one volt as you can see vcc this is basically for chipsets here also because for chipsets also there, there are many voltages it's not just one volt one, one voltage here for example in s0 as you can see if we go ahead the last voltages that are generated are we have the ddr for vtt as you can see and we have the vcc core as you can see you see we have vcc core and vcc for the graphic card etc so now let's let's basically ask you a question how can we use these states in order to know exactly sorry let's go back to our slide so how can we use the states to know what is the problem with the motherboard so let's assume for example that when you press the laptop okay you press the power button of the laptop so the laptop comes on the fan the fan works so the fan for the processor works and then stop working here what is the problem here for example what is the problem and how can you analyze this this failure so the laptop comes on the fan uh, so is working about three seconds the laptop become off okay so the laptop also another time is on the fan turning on about three seconds four seconds the laptop will be off automatically here what is this kind of failure 
and how we can use the states to figure out the problem. So, because the laptop are on, the fan is working, and three second pass means the S5, the program is not in S5. Because uh, about the, the basically the time between one state to another state is less than one second. It could be a half of one second, okay? And sometimes it could be one second or more, depending on the type of the computers. So, once we have this kind of issue, means the, the problem is not in S5, means we have to skip these voltages. The problem in this uh, time is not in plus 3.3 volt, is not in 5 volt, is not in this voltages. It could be here in S3, okay, or S0. But because, for example, the laptop is on for 3 seconds, the problem is here. So the problem is here. So we should check the uh, VTT for the memory, for example, and we should check the, the core or the CPU circuit. And in this kind of issues, usually we find the problem with the VCC core or the CPU circuit. So, do you understand a little bit the meaning of these states? So, here, please remember, by the way, I will put uh, of course, this schematic, this is a schematic with almost, let me see, 75. Do you see here? We have 75 pages. I will uh, uh, basically upload this schematic to my Patreon page. Please watch the video and go, go directly to my Patreon page to download this, uh, basically, this schematic for free. Just subscribe to my Patreon page and download this schematic. Of course, you will find many other schematics, not just this one, but many other schematics. You see here, we have the power sequence, etc. Okay. So also, I will uh, upload this table. These tables, please try to remember these tables. Here we have S5, we have soft off. Soft off means the laptop is completely off. We have S4, suspend to disk. S3, suspend to RAM, means the RAM is almost on. We have here. So let's go and see S0, we have full on. S0 or M0 means the laptop is working properly 100%. So, I hope that you understand a little bit this course. If you have any question, any suggestion, please put it in the comment below and please don't forget to subscribe. Like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more unique videos for you in a daily basis. And of course, share the video with other people interested like you and join me in my Patreon page. I guarantee for you, for you that the, the, the guys or the, the, the people that join me in my Patreon page, you will learn very quickly because I put uh, about 50% here in my YouTube channel and 50% other unique content and tips in my personal page. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.